I was taking a tennis lesson with my son. Um, five minutes left to the class. I went to reach for a ball and I slipped and fell. And I coming down, I heard a pop. And I didn't know what it was. All I kept saying was something was in my way, something was in my way. What was that? And the coach said, there was nothing in your way. I think you might have ruptured your Achilles tendon. I wasn't able, going to be able to walk for a while. I was gonna, probably going to be in a cast for the next two, three months. As they said, the, the recovery rate was about two, three months. So I, I really was just thinking about that. I did not at all think that I would end up with a blood clot. I started feeling some symptoms of shortness of breath, and I didn't understand what was going on. I had a, a I was dizzy. I was going up the stairs, crawl, kind of crawling up the stairs, and I was dizzy. I went to the restroom, I was washing my hands, and then I was dizzy and fell out. I fell down to the floor, and that's when I started banging my cane on the door, and I asked my husband, I was calling for my husband, and I said, you know, you gotta come. Something's wrong, something's wrong, call 911. After they did some more tests, it's when they realized that I did have a pulmonary embolism, and um, I heard them say, we have to call in Dr. Wang. So a deep vein thrombosis is when you have a blood clot in your typically leg veins, although it can be in your arm veins. A pulmonary embolism is when one of those deep vein thrombosis uh, breaks free of its attachments to the veins, uh, in either the legs or arms and then travels to the lungs and then causes a blockage of blood flow in the lungs. In Annie's case, because she did uh, lose consciousness uh, at home, it's very likely that if she didn't make it to the emergency room uh, in the time that she did, she probably would have died. They explained everything to me, but when I got in there, um, I was scared, I was, I was awake. Um, and the nurses, one of them, I remember her name was Karen, she said, you know, just hold my hand. So when she first came in, um, she was given medications to support her blood pressure. Um, she was given uh, oxygen to support her breathing. Um, she was given blood thinners. Uh, and those are pretty standard um, treatments that most patients who you know, have this problem receive. At Shady Grove, we can offer uh, actually going into the patient's lungs and removing that blood clot to help their heart pump the blood and circulate the blood through their um, body better. And so what we did in her case is we entered a vein in her neck, put a catheter down into her pulmonary arteries or the blood vessels in her lungs and uh, gave her some medication to A, both melt it out and then also uh, use special devices to extract uh, the clot out as well. And after we were done, she no longer needed the um, medications to support her blood pressure and she was breathing much, much better. Well, Dr. Wang is great. You know, he's my savior. I, <laughs> I tell him he's my savior. Um, one of the things I really do appreciate about him is that he's, he's you know, he gives you the information that you need. Um, my experience at Shady Grove Hospital has always been really good. They started a group, a DVT support group, um, last year, and I did go. It's really good to hear other people's stories um, because it, it helps. It helps with the anxiety. You have so much anxiety afterwards after you go through something so traumatic that, I mean, it's just, you just need to hear that you're not doing, you're not going through this alone. And I think the support groups really help with that. And they, I'm really glad that they started one at the hospital.